Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and it is time for the weekly update on the pineapple guavas for people interested in their progress over here. So we'll start with the Triumph. Fruit development's going quite well now. It's the 8th of October. Uh, last one I did was at the end of September. So um, there's been some reasonable growth in the last... Uh, in the last week or so they seem to be swelling quicker than last year considering they flowered later um, that one down there is doing particularly well as are those but the one that's got biggest so far and this is probably larger than any I had I'd say this is larger than any I had last year and to give you some idea of size that's probably a medium sized chicken's egg so I thought you might be interested to get a comparison it's slightly bigger than an egg and again if I compare my thumb with it now you can see it's two thumbs width wide so this is doing very nicely actually I don't know how far this one's going to be from ripening I'm hoping it's going to stay on another two or three weeks but of course the colder weather can cause them to drop off prematurely which is why they're not always very sweet here but I'm very very pleased with the size of that one fruit and again that the one down there is doing well there's several fruits that are progressing very nicely on the plant so um should get quite a few decent edible ones on off this so let me just pause the video one second while we move to the others now the mammoth in particular um is a long way behind the triumph the fruits anything except anything but mammoth these are barely an inch along now i'm hoping that one there is a bit longer and thinner now i am still hoping that these will be come an edible size there's a fruit up here as well had some slight damage on it i think a petal was stuck on it now obviously i'm hoping that the mammoth will produce a couple of edible sized at least big enough fruits to be able to taste but as you can see there's some way off being what i would consider to be an edible size at the moment i would say nearly a month so the question is going to be will the weather stay mild enough for them to keep growing and will they stay on the plant until uh, until early november um, because was we're only at the end of the first week of october although obviously i'm going to get several triumph fruits that are edible um, that doesn't appear to be the case with the mammoth at the moment uh, now i had particularly one of my subscribers ask specifically about the gemini variety which has got some fruits developing on it so i'm going to pause the I won't pause the video, I can just walk over there to show the Gemini. Now my Gemini plant is the one in the middle here at the back. In fact I can walk around it and perhaps get a little bit closer. It has got some fruit development on it. Let's see if I can squeeze through here. And you can probably see hopefully you'll be able to see this is the Gemini now this produces more elongated fruit than compared to the width these are more elongated than on the um, Triumph and they tend to be slightly they're slightly narrow they're almost like a cigar shape you can see better on that one there and I tried one last year that was very small that um, ripen very late um, and, and it, it was kind of um, sort of edible not amazing um, they're the only I think it's got about five or six fruits developing on it but I would say certainly that one there's going to be an edible size within two weeks and probably a couple of these will be just about edible these smaller ones very unlikely to make it to an edible size but that's the Gemini um, I've got nothing on my second mammoth or triumph plants they didn't set any fruits this year and if I wander back down to the front I think there might be still a fruit on my Apollo if it hasn't dropped off while I was away last week can't see the fruit at the moment but I'm fairly sure that it still had one where was it it was the coolidge wasn't it oh yes here we are it's the coolidge hidden behind a fig but there is uh there is a fruit still on the coolidge again that seems to be slightly more elongated than the triumph which is almost a perfect sort of oval shape 
but that looks like that might reach maturity. It's got two, it's got a small embryo through it on it, it's definitely not going to do anything. I'm going to pull it off, look. That's not set properly and that's not going to do anything, but it's got one, possibly two fruits on it, so I might get to try Coolidge this year as well. So that's the full update on my weekly update on the pineapple guavas for anyone interested. Um, obviously as they get nearer to maturity I will um, I will feature them each week and hopefully and then we'll have a count back and see how long it took from flower to fruit for most of them so um, thanks very much for watching the video, much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up obviously uh, share the video with anyone who you think might be interested Please subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you do want to get updates on the new videos as they come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.